Hello guys, welcome to Online Web Tutor. I am Sanjay. We are learning Code Igniter for Framework Tutorial. This is our part number 28. Inside this video session, guys, we are going to implement file upload validation. In the last video, we had seen the concept of that is how can we upload an image file inside Code Igniter 4. Now, inside this case, we will validate all about file upload type. Now, if I back to editor, this is our site controller and here, this is our user interface. Inside this, if we suppose choose any file like either we can select any document file, any sheet, any image, any PDF, any TXT file, it is going to upload all types of file. But in some cases, if suppose our project needs that, only specific type of images should be selected. Something like we need to upload only .png images, .jpg images, so only we need to allow that. Otherwise, the other file types like PDF, .txt should not be allowed. So how can we do? Simply, as we know that when we upload any file inside this choose file option then upload file object returns a MIME type. If I back to editor and here this is the method we have written for the file upload. Now if I uncomment these two lines let's say die here go and reload this page click on choose file let's select any of the file here click on submit now as we can see that inside this upload file object we have original MIME type it is containing image forward slash png it means that the file what we have uploaded is of image png type so after uploading file this is the value we need to retrieve and we need to check that is this extension what we need if it is then we need to go and upload this file otherwise we need to provide an error that is this file is invalid so what I will do simply back to editor and let's access or get MIME type from upload file object so let's say file underscore type equal to file this is a variable or simply say this is upload file instance we have get original and here we can see that get MIME type now if I click on this method we are redirected on this file so instead I think that this is not actually MIME type we need to get actually get client MIME type if we click again and as we can see that we are inside now uploaded file.php and this is correct so we need to use this method to get the extension let's check all about this file type so what I will do simply I'm going to echo to check that either we are getting all about the file extension or not so we are getting here as we can see that now back to editor here simply let's say valid file types equal to we are going to create an array inside this let's say that we want only about png images we want image dot jpeg type image forward slash and let's say jpg images so these are the files only we are going to allow to upload by user now get rid of all these lines from here we have now two things first the file type and second valid file types now let's use all about if else condition here so if and to use a php function something in array and inside this let's say file type this is a value and we need to check that if this value is available 
inside this array it means that we are on the perfect file so in that case we need to upload simply that file inside this directory otherwise we will have a else block correct file is uploading otherwise we have a else block and inside this invalid file type so in that case what we will do simply we need to show a let's say session flash message so simply to use a session flash message as we know that we need to create a session instance so let's say a session variable go here instead of this static message from controller side we are going to use session let's say set flash data inside this we need to provide a key and the second we need to provide a message about session service or its concept already we had discussed inside this playlist now again if I copy this syntax go here pasting it here this is an array means sorry error so let's say failed to upload file or simply let's say failed to move file again if I copy this flash data concept go here this is also an error and inside this case let's say invalid file type selected now we have perfectly everything is done now successfully we have set all about the flash data messages here we have the post request block now inside this block finally let's return we are going to use redirect here we are going to use to and inside this we will use let's say site url and inside this site url simply i am going to provide the route what we have defined for this file type so here we have my hyphen file simply copy and i am pasting it here now we need to collect this session flash data inside this like file upload.php file so go here let's create a php block and inside this let's say session we to use get method and if it contains any of the success key or its message simply we need to print that keep in mind this is the key success what we have defined here also we have defined an error so we will also handle that now inside this block let's say within h3 tag simply i'm going to write this message so this is shorthand php operator so don't need to actually write echo instead simply copy and pasting it here now again we need to create another if block which is for error so session let's say get this time we are going to collect all about the error message and again i'm create a h3 tag inside this h3 tag using php shorthand operator session and let's say get error save all these changes now if i back to browser reload this page if we click on choose file let's click on this dot png which is ok click on submit now as we can see that file has been moved but when we select any invalid file type let's select any of invalid extension back to downloads and here we have let's say about us.php and as we know that this is an invalid file type which has extension of .php and in this case we are only uploading .png and jpg so this file should not be allowed now if we click on submit 
now as we can see that invalid by file type selected so successfully we have handled all about the cases of uploading a valid file type so this is very easy steps by going through that we have handled and done everything in correct way so inside this video session guys if you went out then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day